All right, we're back with another update, um, and things are going pretty smoothly. So what happened since yesterday? The Dungeon Diver event finished, and I was able to clean it up and get it done and pick up the rare Tree Shield Knot, so that was perfect. I did have to burn, actually, quite a bit of my stockpiled energy. I didn't have to burn anything with, like, a long duration, but you can see, like, everything in here has, like, at least, like, months' worth of time left on it. I burned all the short-term stuff to get this done. So I didn't just purely do it off of daily refills, but it wasn't really a struggle to get it done. Um, you'll notice I did spend a lot of gems. That was because I bought a bunch more uh, inventory slots for champions because I tried to get the... Uh, champ chase done with my mystery shards. I say tried. I successfully got the champ chase done with my mystery shards and we claimed the rare. Uh, I did pick up a few uh, copies of different rares uh, while I was summoning so we can take a look at some of the things that I got in here. Um... We picked up, uh, honestly, none of these are that good. We picked up a Quay Store. We picked up a Bombardier. Uh, Mystic Hand. Trugor. Trugor is actually an interesting champion. I feel like he could actually be kind of strong for this level of account on an um, arena defense. Because he's got this 40% uh, chance to put all, all the cooldowns of each target skills by two turns. And... Honestly, like, yes, it's only a 40% chance, but for arena defense, like, it's all about RNG, right? So, sure, a Warlord or someone with a permanent lockout would be better, but if that goes off, it could still be devastating to... Um, to an attacking team. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Uh, champion. I picked up three copies of Coffin Smasher. Can you believe that? Look at this nonsense. Like, of all the champions I could have got, I got three copies of him. And since uh, basically his kit is uh, HP burn and decrease attack, which is, I mean, that's what you want him for. And we already have our attack. Like, this is useless. So we're not going to use this stuff at all. Um... I mean, you guess his passive is kind of nice, decrease AoE attacks, but it's all single hitter stuff. He's a good clan boss champion um, to bring in the decrease attack like early game, especially since he's a three hitter on the A1. But honestly, not a champion that's going to be that great on this level of account. So, um, yeah, especially since we got Artek. But I don't know, he could be useful for Knights of Revenant Faction Wars. He is HP based, so I think he can be kind of tanky. So we'll see. I don't know. We might build out a single copy for something, but definitely... Uh, didn't need to get three copies of him. Um, we picked up another Valerie, which is kind of annoying because it sucks to get campaign farmable rares when we, you know, can farm them in the campaign. Got this Medicus champion. I looked it over. It doesn't look... Well, actually, the decreased speed and increased defense, it's the small versions of both. But, like, for Faction Wars, I'm like, okay, maybe this could be interesting for High Elves Faction Wars. Decrease or increased speed. Um, and the increased defense. Uh, it also puts decreased speed on all enemies, so that's kind of nice too. Um, honestly, like if this was both of the um, the like the strong versions of both these buffs and debuffs, this champion would be pretty good. But um, for this, I don't know, not anything too exciting. But my builder for faction wars got a marauder too. Another champion we might do. Um, for Faction Wars, he's just got uh, Decrease Attack on all enemies, small version. He's got Provoke, um, and he can stun. So, I don't know. He's kind of interesting, but, n you know, nothing crazy. Bloodbraid's another one. Uh, we don't need any more champions for Barbarians. We've got a ton of Barbarians to carry us through Faction Wars. So, and we haven't even got Sill of the Drakes yet, let alone. So, we probably won't use her. Hexweaver, Dark Elves. I can't remember what she does. Increase Crit, Increase Speed, 3 turn cooldown, small version, Heal and decrease accuracy yeah so she might be kind of interesting i mean having a heal is is kind of nice um on an account like this and this is a three turn it's only a small version but hey you know maybe uh so yeah that's what we got in terms of rare champions and i don't know that was the main notable thing um let me go ahead and check my altar of souls anything in here interesting not really yeah, okay, cool. Um, we did get some clan. We finished the clan quest finally, so we got that increased defense and arena battles. We can go ahead and grab that. And I will go ahead and pick up a couple more of these. We got a Knight's Revenant and Undead Ring. Cool. Um, what else to talk about? Oh, I did place first place in the uh, Classic Arena takedown tournament, so that's cool. Get some more Relentless gear from that. I think we get 5-star Relentless from this. Yeah, 5-star Relentless. So we claim that, which is nice. 
Um, in terms of going forward, okay, so what do we have left to do for the Newt Fusion? Well, we need to get all of the epics up to 5-star level 50. So you can th see I've already fused all the epics. That was part of finishing the Champ Chase tournament. I was leveling them up in Spider, but honestly, I think about it, that was kind of a mistake. All right, it's fine, but um, anyway, we've got these three ready to go. We've got this one. I just need to get this guy up to four stars, and then we'll fuse that. We have three days and 20, basically four days, um, until we need to get it done. We're going to do this fusion during the um, CVC that's going to start on Monday, I think. So we just need to get all these champions ready to go, which means leveling them up. Um, since we don't need to do anything for any tournaments or anything like that um i am going to take this time to do the campaign missions we've worked on this a little bit earlier but now but we still need to get a lot done so we have 233 out of 500 done uh we have 11 days left until the monthly reset happens uh best case scenario we get 77 quests uh, by getting that seven quests per day thing done. So I like to just kind of leave that there as a buffer. But at some point, we need to farm another like 200 campaign battles. So today seems like a, as good a day as any to do that since we need to level up all this food. Uh, anyway, so kill two birds with one stone, get our 500 quests done, and um, level up the stuff for the fusion. So that's what we're going to do going forward. And yeah there's this champ training event too we'll see how far i get on this um it's got three days nine hours on it i mean i do need to level up all this stuff for the fusion so if we're sitting like oh man we've already got you know fourteen thousand points this is kind of expensive thirteen thousand for a legendary book um but you know if we already have a bunch like i said from the fusion beforehand maybe we'll consider this i'll do some math um on the, like the last couple of days to see where we're at other than that, I think that's probably it for today. Um, we do have 3v3 ending tomorrow, so I need to actually put a real defense in here and see if I can try and get ranked up to bronze three. Um, but, yep, that's pretty much it. All right, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Cheers. Oh, one more thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw the shard pulls from my main account. I only pulled like three shards uh, at the end of this, so you can enjoy that as a little bonus. Um, and that's going to be it. All right, see ya. Hey, y'all. This is going to be a super short video because I need to pull three sacreds for the champ chase tournament to get the newt fusion done. Uh, and I figured, why not? We'll record it, and just in case we get something crazy, let's see what happens. We're pulling three. Uh, there is a 10x for that new Sylvan Watcher. Okay. First one's an epic Old Hermit York. Not a bad champion. Um, all right. And... Oh, Vogoth! Dude, I actually really want Vogoth. Oh, my God. I don't have him. This is the first time I pulled one of these. I've wanted him for so long. I mean, I'm not sure where I'm going to use him right now, but um, at very least, I need to do the Undead Epic um, camp uh, secret room. So, oh, my God. Finally, a Bogoth. Okay, that's actually cool. I really like that. All right, last one. Can we get a Lego? No Lego. Another Deacon. Oh, my God. Deacon's great, but I have many copies. All right, cool. See you later.